Okay, what do you think when I say the words Park Hill? Probably not the words art gallery. I wouldn't have thought of those words either, but when Sheffield Live went out and about, we came across a little exhibition called Overlooked, and we nearly overlooked the gallery. See what I did there. Anyway, it's situated on the ground floor of the flats, and we went to take a look. It's a familiar shot behind me, the colour of the regeneration project currently going on at Park Hill Flats. But we've come to look at something a little different. Just on the ground floor level, we've got the Scottish Queen. Now, it's a new gallery space here for 12 months, and 12 months only, and it's presenting the exhibition Overlooked today. It's a wonderful day for it, so we're going to pop inside and have a look. First of all, just to explain what's happening here and what it's all, what's it all about. Right, well, basically, um, We've organised uh, an art exhibition um, in the former Old Scottish Queen pub at Park Hill. It's the inaugural exhibition, um, uh, but the space is actually going to be converted into a purpose-built art space um, for the next year, and we're the first exhibition to sort of to show. So where did the overlooked theme and title come from? Um, basically, all our work is interested in areas of landscape that um, is overlooked or is, is often goes unnoticed. We basically have, have a lot of interest in um, uh, in, in depicting scenes that no one really would perhaps give a second glance. So why did you choose to show the work here at a former pub in Park Hill? Well, I've been coming down to Park Hill for about three years and all my work for that length of time has been based on that. So I've amassed a, quite a big amount, a lot, a lot of work on Park Hill. And I knew that they often did exhibitions here. So I approached um, Urban Splash to see if they were interested in letting me have an exhibition space. And they basically said, yes, you can, you can do it if you, if, you, if you do it yourself sort of thing. So um, that's what I've done. And the space is um, too big just for me. So I found four other artists to share it and sort of make it a co-op really. So we're here with Jane Walker, one of the artists uh, that is exhibiting her work at this exhibition. And it describes you, Jane, in the, uh, in the little programme that I've got here, as the artist who provides the exception to the realist theme. Explain that for us. I think I sort of spent quite a lot of time developing my own language to depict cities and my own sort of ideas about cities, their networks, and a, and a fairly sort of like a fabric, fairly thin on the surface. It's almost as though the civilization and the holding the structure together is quite fragile. And why have you chosen this particular gallery space to exhibit your work? Um, I didn't. <laughs> In fact, it's been, that's been one of the lovely things about coming here. I've discovered a new space, another side of Sheffield, that I never, never dared come into before. I was just asked, asked to take part in this exhibition by Mandy and Sean. So we're here with Andy Cropper and it says in the programme, Andy, that your work focuses very much on sort of everyday life and things that you observe. What makes the somewhat ordinary somewhat interesting? I think it's because the ordinary, we normally don't look at it. It's something we pass through every single day. You know, it's mundane, it's routine. You know, it's not anything we look at. We usually uh, look outside ourselves, you know, for distractions, for um, entertainment. Whereas um, my stuff is very much just my everyday world that I'm working through and um, just trying to find little moments that actually hold my gaze and um, finding magical things in our everyday. Um, and you've chosen this as your favourite piece yes. at the gallery. Um, what, what, what have you got to say about this piece? What are you trying to, what's this piece about? And what, what, what were you thinking when you sort of saw it? Well, the thing about my work is, is every single moment that I react, react to something is different. Like, I, I can happily walk sort of through a park or down a street, and a lot of the time, you know, I'll just look around and everything's very familiar, but for a, a little moment, there'll be a time when, I don't know, it could be something about, you know, someone in relation to a place, or it could be sort of a bit of ground, or it could be a, sort of the way a building looks, but for a moment, it's caught my gaze, um, and... The more I look at it, the more I get interested in it. And often it is that thing that I'm actually just as mystified as people looking at it. And that's, that's what I find um, interesting. That's, that's what keeps me going and keeps me doing what I do. What's the main thing you want the public to get out of the exhibition? Um, really just to come down, down to Park Hill really, just to bring people down here. And also to hopefully to look at our work, to engage with our work and to try and, try and get what we're trying to say really. 
There we go, that was the overlooked exhibition here at the Scottish Queen in Park Hill Flats, of course, going through a major regeneration project. Uh, you can pop down and see it for yourself. It's Friday through to Tuesday, and that runs until the 10th of May. Come down around midday, that's when things get underway down here each day. So come down, have a look, talk to the artists, and find out a little more about it. Back to the studio.